So as you can see, I have all my pieces cut, ready to go. Um, plexiglass is cut, and the supports going underneath it. So I'm just going to start putting it together, and we will speed the video up so you guys can see. guys just got back from Home Depot went looking for something to conceal my cords for the minis and the classics especially where I have plexiglass and my cords as much as I tried to lay them flat and uniform make them look neat and tidy in the back it just didn't look right so on my search I found something that's called a cord cover kit and they're just made of plastic they snap open with your fingers. You put your cords in here. I needed something that was wide enough that would accommodate four cords per side because I do have a power cord and an HDMI cord per machine on each side. I cut the length that I needed, which was only about slightly over half, and then I put two separate pieces in. Then with a utility knife, I lined it up and I figured out where I needed my, my notch. I, I put a little square hole in each for each um, for each one of my classics and my mini. And um, then I spray painted it black. So I hope that when you would look at this, you would say, wow, that looks real nice, neat, sharp, it looks nice and uniform, because that's what I was going for. Um, when things are nice and tidy like this there, it makes me feel happy. <laughs> I like to come down here when it's a big mess in my game room, I don't even want to be in here. But when it's nice and uniform like this, I want to be down here as much as I can possibly be because it's my happy place. Um, I'm going to give you a close up look. They come, these, these cover kits come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. I could have got smaller, I could have got wider. This one here was probably the perfect size because I just got the four cords in there and I might have gotten the fifth one. These cords aren't wide to begin with. If I were to go if I were gonna do this with the original hardware where the cords are a lot bigger, I would have needed something a lot wider. And they do have them there, I just didn't do it. Most of these up top aren't hooked up. But for this video, it's just strictly my minis and my classics. Welcome back, guys. Um, this would be day 
two of my shelf build to kind of showcase my minis. Uh, the idea I had was I'm going to use a plexiglass shelf and display my mini consoles above the original hardware so it displays nicely. And I put them all on their own HDMI switcher. Um, we'll, pull, we'll put a picture up showing you which one it is. I got it on Amazon like I get most things. As a great bonus, you get double the space out of your wall unit in, in that one shelf. So it's a great... Yeah. Easy modification for anybody who's looking for extra space without really feeling like you've crammed a lot of shelves in there because the plexiglass gives okay. this illusion. You um, you should pop up a picture showing mm -hmm. the before. Yes, definitely. And the after. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you with the remote uh, that I have all of them running right now. and It's just as easy as switching it. There, it's actually a, a five switch HDMI switch box because I do have plans on getting the TurboGrafx-16. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the reason why we finished, well, finished it a day or two later is because I was waiting for my Sega Genesis Mini. Yes. So I wanted to finish, wrap the video up with everything where it's supposed to be with my final vision. So this is on number one. This is the NES Classic, going from left to right. Number two, that would be the SNES Classic. Classic or Mini? I think it's Classic. I think they call them Classic. I keep getting them mixed up. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, number three would be my PlayStation Classic. You'll notice I have a lot more games on there because of the True Blue Mini. Mm-hmm. And the most recent addition to the family would be the Sega Genesis Mini. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, I'm always doing these little projects to kind of improve my game room. Yeah. Um, let me know what you think. If you want to keep on seeing these videos, sir, I'll keep on posting them. <laughs> Until next time, game on. Game on!